Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk about the most tax efficient way to withdraw your RSP savings and I'm gonna give you a really great tax tip at the end of the video, so stick around for that. Let's go behind the vault. Okay, so you finally decided it's time to start chunking out those RSPs. The question is now, how much do I take out each year? And that's a really interesting question because you know what happens is people look at how much they actually need versus how much is the most tax efficient to take out. But here's how I want you to look at it. I want you to look at tax like a cup of water and each tax bracket is its own cup. And what you want to do is you want to run up your withdrawal to fill each cup of water. So if let's say you're at a 30% tax bracket, you're going to fill the 20%, the 24 and the 30 even if you don't need that money, because you'll never get an opportunity to pay that low tax bracket again. See, if I show $30,000 of income and I pay 20% on that, well, that's great. But if I take it up to the line of 47, that extra 17,000, guess what? I'm only gonna pay 20% on that. And yeah, I'll concede the tax because I probably saved 30 or 40 in my working years, and then I'll recycle it by dumping it back into my tax-free savings account or dumping it into my investment account, my non-registered. So then when I get to age 71 or 72, instead of having a million dollars in RSPs with a huge tax burden that surrounds that, maybe I've got half a million dollars in RSPs and half a million dollars in TFSA non-registered money where the tax burden is nowhere near as high as the RSPs. And with TFSA and non-registered, I'm never forced to take that money out. So I can control the dynamic of my income in years that I maybe need more, or don't need as much because I now have flexibility. So the strategy is this, once you retire, start to withdraw those RSPs, even if you don't need them, run them up to the tax line, okay? And you know what, take advantage of the fact that if you retire before the age of 65, you don't have to deal with that OAS clawback. Sure, you're gonna concede some tax, 20, 24%, but I'd rather concede 20, 24 early than 30, 35, 40, or 53 down the road. Last thing I wanna talk about is something called the pension tax credit. If you're going to start taking out RSPs early, you're going to wanna convert those RSPs from RSP to RIF. If you take money out of your RSP account, you're gonna pay tax dollar for dollar for every dollar you pull out. If you take money out of your RIF account, you're still gonna pay tax dollar for dollar for every dollar you take out. However, you're going to get a $2,000 pension tax credit. So that's gonna lower your taxable income by two grand. So if you show 47, you're only gonna pay tax on 45. And if you're income splitting, guess what? You each get that $2,000. So if you're gonna save, say, 20% of tax on that $2,000, that's an extra $800 in your pocket if you're single or widowed, that's $1,600 in your pocket of tax savings if you're a married or common law partner. I hope the video was helpful. Make sure you comment below and smash that like button on the way down. Subscribe right here and oh, well, here's our next video.